What's up guys? Welcome to Audio Camera Channel. Today I will talk about some frequent questions about EP7. Maybe some of you guys who have subscribed my channel for a while and knows that I've done a question and answer of EP7 video three months ago. And this video can be seen as a supplement to the previous one. If you are interested, Please subscribe my channel or draw camera and find the previous video link from the description. Okay, let's get in today's four questions and answers. The first question is how to watch the video picture well EP7 without screens on itself? And the second question is how to edit videos and uploads into YouTube or other social media in the app. Third one is how to solve the problem in the app if there is no sounds in the videos. And the last one is what can be done in the OD cam. The real time pictures can be viewed through EP7's control app OD cam. You only need to connect the EP7 and OD cam via Wi Fi. Let's turn on the EP7 and turn on the Wi Fi of EP7. Okay, then connect Wi Fi. Then open the OD cam. Connect it. And you can see the real-time picture of EP7 on the app regardless of whether it is in recording states or not. For the second question, how to edit videos and uploads into YouTube or other social medias in the app? Okay. Generally speaking, the videos we record are automatically stored in the SD card of EP7 and the design video clips can be selected through my device in the app. Okay, you can see the videos from my device and choose one to download to your mobile phone. Okay, after we download it, choose my file to find it for simple crop. Okay, after you editing, then click the tick icon to upload to your social media. You can choose WeChat. Okay, or WhatsApp, Line, TikTok, or YouTube. Yeah, share. Then you can post it. So the temporary and the question is how to do if the Wi-Fi can be used after changing the password. At the beginning, I'd say that you'd better don't change your Wi-Fi password. If you really want to change your password and unfortunately you can use it after the change, then please pay attention to my demonstration. At this time, you need to download and upgrade firmware from Audio official website. And the Audio website is audio.com.cn. And create the service and support part you can find. EP7 firmware upgrade at the bottom. And here you can see two language version. 
The first one is the English language version and the second one is the Japanese language version. So we need to download the first one. And now we need a car reader and insert your EP7 SD card. Then connect with your computer's USB port. Okay, unpage this package. Then you can see this file wdv4k.brn. Then we plug it into the SD card file. Then we take out the SD card. And insert into the EP7. And long press the power button. You can see the blue light is flashing. It means it's upgrade automatically. Okay, after the flashing finish, it means the upgrade is successful. Well, for the third question, how to solve the problem in the app if there is no sounds in the videos? Um, if there is no sounds in the video after shooting with EP7, you please check the settings in the app to see if the recording function is turned on. Um, here the setting yes, and you can find it to recording while shooting usually it's turned on but sometimes if it's turned off you please turn it on again and under normal circumstances these problems can be solved for the last one what can be done in the OD cam? Well, through the previous demonstration, you can find that we can simply remotely control the EP7 and edit the video through the app, as well as we can do some settings in the settings. Just you can uh, choose your photo settings like the photo resolutions and timeless settings or other settings
So it's all the contents of this video. If you have any question, please leave your comments below in the video or subscribe our channel Audio Camera to know more about EP7 or other items. Okay, see you guys.